boy. Oh yeah. So all of our water is getting vaporized. We're gonna turn into Venus here. And Venus is gonna turn into Mercury. And Mercury is going to turn into, I guess, a lava ball. Let's go with something I probably haven't used before. Regulus. It is 3.88 masses of the sun and 3.09 radius of the sun. So there we go, like three and a half times farther out for Earth. Okay. Venus. Mercury. Mars with its moon. Saturn with its moons. Uranus. <laughs> Sorry. Uranus. I'm sorry, that's funny to me too. There we go. Where's Pluto? What are they doing to me here? They don't need, oh, how dare they? Probably have to go into minor. Oh, the nerve. Do Pluto and Charon. There. Did I not put our moon in here? Where's our moon? Let's make it kind of close, but not too close, but we're going to make it closer than normal. There we go. And our bizarro solar system. So let's see first if I put the Earth too close. Oh yeah, it's still too close even though I put it three and a half times farther away. It's still too hot. I say let's let it boil though. We'll see how this goes. Just kind of speeding it up here a little bit so that we can uh, get the Himalayas to melt. And look at that, how big that moon shadow is. Just crazy. I'm getting eclipses all the time with the moon this close. Oh yeah, the Himalayas have pretty much melted now. Look at that. Figured as much. We're just getting dry and baked, it looks like. So I wonder if we'll even continue to hold our water. Oh wow, what is going on? Hold on, hold on. I was just grabbing my laptop here. Oh, I think all of our water is getting vaporized. Uh-oh. Yeah, the average temperature right now is at 241 degrees Fahrenheit. This is our Earth. Oh no. I wonder what happens if we we look through the atmosphere. Yeah, all the water is just getting evaporated. Wow. Oh, look at that. So this is atmosphere on, atmosphere off. Look at that. The poles have just melted and flooded everything. The North Polar Cap just melted out into all of this, into the Great Lakes, into Hudson Bay, and everything is all flooded there. And we're pretty much just going to turn into Water World, or Venus. Totally crazy. North America is like all flooded at the top now. Let's see how China is almost unrecognizable. Well, because the Polar Caps just melted on, flooded all of this. So, I mean, the only thing we have left now is the really high ground. I'm surprised we still have some of these, some of these islands here. Wow, look at the top of Africa. So the coldest place on Earth now is 113 degrees. Might be able to like kind of survive in a cave, but again, there's really no uh, sunlight getting to the Earth either, because look at that. That's our atmosphere because all of this water is also being vaporized as it's melting. Because, again, this is our star. Well, let's check in on Mercury here. Pause it for a second. We'll check in on the other planets of our solar system. Oof, Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. Yeah, so Mercury is getting totally cooked. Venus, let's see, do you... Oh. No, we're, uh, we're kind of cooking too here. That's Venus. 
Getting its atmosphere cooked off too. It's cooked. It's totally cooked. Oh yeah. So all of our water is getting vaporized. We're gonna turn into Venus here. And Venus is gonna turn into Mercury. And Mercury is going to turn into, I guess a lava ball. So that's our Mercury here. Just getting cooked. And Venus, let's check in on uh, Mars. Not too much different. Alright, so Mars is fine. Okay, looks like Saturn's doing fine. That's good to see. Check in on Jupiter. Jupiter's good. Wonder if it looks any different or anything, or if we kind of. It looks more or less the same. So I got everything right except for the inner planets. I think you're just way too close.